So let's now talk about Rhoda. And the first question that arises is, what is Rhoda? The Rhoda is a long-term digital repository. So it implements the main functionalities of the OIS reference model. It is suitable for large corporations or public bodies. It, is, it was developed in order to, uh, to support and to scale up to millions of records. It is fully featured repository, so it covers all the main OIS functionalities and it has uh, extra functionalities to integrate, for example, with other systems uh, via well-defined protocols. And uh, uh, in the same line as Rodain, it conforms with open standards, just to name a few, uh, OIS, Premise, EAD, DC, METS, the EARC, um, information packages, specifications, Bagit, etc. So it is vendor independent. Rhoda is 100% built on open source technologies. This means anyone can download it, use it, and as long as they, they respect the, the license, they can change, uh, change the software uh, for, suiting, for, for suiting their needs. Um, it was built to ensure the authenticity. So we use preservation metadata encoded in premise together with the guidelines from ISO 16363 to ensure the authenticity of the records that we are preserving. And also we, it has a mechanism for pluggable preservation actions. This means that uh, actions that need to be uh, added later on that the repository does not support from the beginning or from uh, its creation can be developed and added later on for managing for preservation purposes or any other kind of um, uh, purpose. So it was developed to be horizontal uh, scalable. This means that actually if the needs require that uh, extra nodes can be added to ensure a smooth uh, working and, and to scale um, to, to accommodate the different uh, information that it holds. It is audit auditable. This means that every single action performed in the repository is logged for accountability purposes. And actually, we put available uh, a REST API uh, to, to make sure that it is easy to integrate RODA with other systems 